the launch of the newest over-the-air TV standard in the United States, known as ATSC 3.0, or Next Gen TV, has stalled as broadcasters have started encrypting their next-gen TV signals across the U.S., even though the only two consumer-level next-gen tuners available, the HD Home Run and the Zapper Box, are unable to decrypt these very signals consumers bought them to view. A check of HD Home Run online forums shows viewers in several U.S. TV markets are reporting that ATSC 3.0 signals are being encrypted with DRM, or Digital Rights Management Encryption, making it impossible to view or record any next-gen TV programs. Zapperbox, the other ATSC 3.0 tuner available, provides a log of its software update release notes on its website. Support for ATSC 3.0 encrypted channels, which really means the decryption keys needed to view next-gen signals, are listed as in the pipeline, with no definitive date for a release of the DRM encryption keys. Another budget-friendly ATSC 3.0 tuner that is yet to hit the market from Atlanta DTH is available for pre-order for $79, but the order page on the company's website is currently down with no explanation. And there is also no mention of a solution for the DRM encryption problem anywhere in the product description. With the installation of DRM encryption on ATSC 3.0 signals rolling out across the country, viewers in many markets are neither able to view or record ATSC 3.0 signals or programs. There doesn't seem to be any clear answers as to when DRM encryption keys are going to be available or how or what exactly DRM encryption will mean for free over-the-air television. What exactly do broadcasters intend to use DRM encryption for as an endgame? Broadcasters say it is to prevent piracy and illegal rebroadcast of ATSC 3.0 signals, but shouldn't consumers who paid for legitimate next-gen tuners be able to watch and record the signals they were intended to receive? Consumers certainly have a right to be concerned about the nebulous manner in which DRM has been implemented thus far. It looks fairly apparent that DRM encryption can potentially be used to encrypt all ATSC 3.0 signals and possibly create a tiered pay system for over-the-air television going forward. And broadcasters are very aware of the value of some of their content. If this were to happen, it's a big win for broadcasters. Since they only have to supply the signal, no maintenance or installation of long cable runs along telephone poles. Consumers will be on the hook for the tuner, antenna, and internet connection, which presumably will be a necessary component for next-gen TV once it is fully rolled out. And the vision broadcasters have to speed up the sunset of the current broadcast standard, ATSC 1.0, simply adds to the concern of over-the-air TV viewers, and rightfully so. ATSC 3.0 can be a chance to take free over-the-air television to a new level, a golden opportunity to fully utilize what's left of the public airwaves for their true intended purpose, serving the best interest of the public. But it's up to the broadcasters and the FCC. Paid streaming services are often referred to as Cable 2.0. The question must be asked then, will ATSC 3.0 simply be relegated to becoming Cable 3.0?